This is the Taiwan Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Oluwa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshankaye. Wow, go on. Me good. Well, How was your weekend? Restful. Yours? Restful and interesting. Okay. You want to gist us, or should we just move on? Let's just move on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, congratulations to Bonaboy as he wins. Best African Act um, Award at the 2019 MTV EMAs Award. So that's a good one. And I mean, he won the BET, right? And now he's winning the MTV. So it's, it just goes to show that we are not all wrong. Mm -hmm. So if you're having any other form of um, award or recognition and Bonaboy is not winning it, then maybe there's, there's, a, problem. <laughs> maybe there's a problem somewhere. So congratulations to him. Um, yeah, I mean, when it's your time, no one can stop you. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think that it's just good that you're underrated for a while. Mm. So when you come out, the glory will be so massive. And I mean, people won't be able to complain whatever is coming. I'm so happy for him. And I'm happy that Tenny was nominated too, even mm -hmm. though she didn't win. I mean, she has, she's really doing well. She got so many um, nominations this year and awards. And I'm really proud of her. I'm impressed that she's doing well too. And congratulations to Bonaboy and every other person that was nominated. And I think for this award, is, it has been an African, Nigerian to be mm. precise, has been Everywhere. getting it from Whiskey to Davido to Tiwa and now Bonaboy. I mean, I'm just happy for them. Yeah, what a time to be alive for Bonaboy because um, he seems to be winning like right now. And um, like you said, he was underrated for a long time. Mm. And then. Even though we all knew that he had something special, but he wasn't getting that recognition like what the Nigerian music industry was striving on as at that time with songs mm. like Like to Party. It wasn't the vibe mm. we were used to. And um, his vibe is a totally different vibe, and he brought that on. So sometimes it's okay to be unique. It's okay to be different. You don't mm. have to jump on the bandwagon and just do what everybody is doing. Mm. And I think that is paying off for him right now because he's stuck to his craft, he's stuck to his style, he's stuck to his uniqueness. And yeah, he's getting paid for it. So big shout out to Burner Boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, Taylor Swift won Best U.S. Act and Best Video, while Nicki Minaj won Best Hip Hop. Shawn Mendes won um, Best Artist. Now, for Nicki Minaj, I, I, mm -hmm. I thought you all say, said um, Cardi B has outdone her in everything. How come she's still winning this part? I don't understand. I never said that. No, I mean, that's... People, yeah. yeah. people are saying it. Yeah, and I feel like, okay, she... I mean, I would prefer Nicki Minaj any day, any time. Me too. It doesn't mean that I don't like her to be. It doesn't but, mean that I don't love mm. her hustle, but Nicki's just, just Nicki for me. me. For me, I would pick Nicki over... Um, Cardi B every day. That doesn't mean I don't like Cardi B or her music. I do, but I just feel like I appreciate Nikki's craft more mm. than I appreciate her. Both, I mean, both of them, they are really doing well. And I, don't, I really don't feel like Cardi B right now is stopping the chat. I mean, there's time for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's her time, but that doesn't mean Nikki is not doing her thing. She's doing her thing. She's still getting her nomination. She's still topping charts. And mm -hmm. everybody's just doing their own thing. You want to add to that? No, no. You girls are the ones battling for who's better. I think Kali and Nicki Minaj, they're in a very good space, in, or they're in good spaces in their career. They are no, the ones battling. It's better. It's better. And just in case of fans, preference. And yeah. their fans also battling, oh, who's better? Who do we prefer? No, nah, I mean, I think um, I love the both of them. I love what they do. Cardi also wins some awards. We don't ask questions like, why is Nikki not getting the same awards? So, no, we do. Uh, we do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, we I do a lot. Yeah, I just I think so you, many, yeah, so I many people so do. That's what I'm saying. It's the fans always trying to pitch them against each other. I think they should just let everybody shine. For their, uh, in, in their own case, I don't even think it's about the fan alone. Both of them are putting themselves yeah, against each other. True that, though. Mm. Yeah, they're, all, they're their own enemies. Mm. Okay, moving on to the <laughs> next story. London Metropolitan Police has, um, they are said to have irritated Bibi Naija Kafi. So um, yesterday was her birthday, right? Mm. So happy birthday to her. And um, this is interesting because while she was in the house, there were stories. Mm. I always say I did not follow Big Brother, <laughs> like watching it, but at least online I saw so many things, mm. right? And people were like, oh, her superiors over there are not happy that she went for the um, reality show and because of that she has lost that part of her career that is not going to happen anymore and all that so now the news is that they are expecting her back but mm. she has not decided if she's 
going when she wants when to she go wants back. to do you think she would go back really she said she's going to go back because she's so committed to keeping um london safe that mm. she'll go back but she does she's not know she still has to come and keep nigeria <laughs> safe <laughs> before you keep this nigeria safe you have to be like on another level but yeah i feel like she'll go back when she wants to i mean she's probably just still taking her time trying to get everything she can get before going back over there to settle down and get her job back. I'm very happy that she got this job back because, I mean, when the news broke out, even me personally, I thought that that was it for that side because um, there were a lot of um, rumors going on that they would never take her back and mm -hmm. they have rules. And it was said that she went without their permission. Yeah, because she actually she did put ask, in for their permission, mm, but the it was not granted. Not, so, know, I so. mean, everybody would just think that ordinarily they will not take her back. But, you know, like, I feel when God just works for you, Anything is possible. They break rules for you. Mm, and I also think, it's, sorry, it's not just about God now. If, if, for example, they require three months notice and she actually did that, one, mm -hmm. and then secondly, she's good at what she does and very professional, and they know that them not giving her permission, um, now it's not because their code of conduct don't allow that. It's because somebody somewhere was just too lazy to sign the paper when they were supposed to. Then they would definitely want to think about having her back. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. Mm, I get you. But, you know, we don't know what their code yeah, of conduct know. says. Yeah. So we mm. don't know. But I'm just happy that she got her job back. Mm. And now she's even in that space to decide if she, if wants, she wants to it or not. Or not. I'm happy for I think her. two things are working for her here. Um, number one. She didn't. She didn't misbehave in the house. Is uh, mean her behavior? What, what does misbehavior mean? <laughs> what? What Define do you classify as? <laughs> oh, why did she misbehave in the house? What yeah. do you? Before we answer yes or no, tell yeah, okay, us. Okay, if Tatcha was the one who was a police um, officer, mm -hmm. do you think she would be reinstated? I don't think if Tatcha if Tatcha was a police officer, yeah, she wouldn't act like that. Yes. Okay, what? so you're talking about her character and yeah, her character and the Big people. Brother house. Yeah, she had so a very good personality. Human communication. Human okay. communication. She Understood. acted. She conducted herself. You're talking about, yeah, like in the right way. <laughs> Just let's see. Continue. I'm talking like what? <laughs> like you're talking about in the character. Why is it? Did she like, do any other thing that I don't know about? Uh -huh. Because it's like, she's not talking. Is it the get only thing? That's not misbehaving. That's an adult. She's been an adult. She had mm. a relationship in the house. That's not misbehaving. That's mm. living your life, living mm. your best life. Mm. You get me? So, if it's the get only thing, you guys should put down her side. That's, that's that was she, why we asked. No, she's a grown woman. She can do whatever she wants. And she didn't do it for your view. Mm. It was speculations. People never saw exactly what happened. Mm. Or am I wrong? Did you see what happened? Did you see it? If I just made your point, but so did you see it? Nobody <laughs> saw it. Everybody just, they're just speculating. The fact that you're all booed up with somebody doesn't mean that. Mm. Mm, even though we know that. You get what I mean? But at the end of the day, she was just being an adult and she did the right thing. Secondly, um, when you're successful, everybody wants to associate with you. That is another thing playing for her here. So if it was just a regular person and then you didn't take permission and then you went to do some random stuff and then you come back, you think anybody will give a hoot who you are? But because she's been there, everybody has seen her face, she's now a brand for the police force actually. So they are going to benefit a lot from her being reinstated than losing. Because when people see her on the street of London, they probably would even want to take pictures. Uh, so yeah, yes. It's not that deep. No, no, I, I, I really don't think. <laughs> it can't be that what? serious. You think so? Not Big Brother London. Yeah. As yeah Big Brother Niger. Do you know how many Nigerians are in London? But I still that? feel like it's, it does not have anything to uh, be, uh, our celebrity status does not have anything to offer to them. Oh, no. It, it definitely has Like a lot what? People offer. stopping by to take pictures? No, aside that, people will want to listen to you more. Okay. I think that's the way it's... No, mm. there's this... I don't know if you guys know about the celebrity police officer in America that it goes to every hood that a lot of police run away from. And then he plays with them, he plays basketball with them, he rolls dice with them, and he's still keeping the community safe. Mm. Do you understand? That's different. That's, how is that different? Because that's the same thing with this lady right now. She'll be able to communicate better with people that recognize her what from Big Brother. What do they call citizens of London? Like, what's their name? Like, I know Nigeria, the you're Britons, Nigerian. The oh, British how many of them watched Big Brother? The ones, in, the Nigerians How many London? Nigerians make up the whole... Like, how many percentage of Nigerians are there? I don't know about that statistics. Maybe we'll check. For me, I, re I just feel that is, I'm happy that she I'm got her job back. Her, yeah, yeah, I'm just and happy. And she has that option any, any day, anytime. Because you see, the entertainment um, space in Nigeria is 
um, what's the word now? It is very toxic. So mm -hmm. when you're ready to say, I'm done, I'm glad that you have an escape Something route. to... Mm -hmm. It's time for a quick break, but when we return, it will be more conversations on trending entertainment stories. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is from mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Spending so much on burials is a total waste to me. This is coming from Yule Doche. Um, he said, and I quote, I don't understand the concept of spending so much on burials. Total waste to me. A person's life should be celebrated when he or she is alive to join in the celebration, not in death. Someone once asked me for a loan of some millions to use and bury his father. I was speechless. End of quote. Okay. If I let's start with you. Yeah, I totally agree with you on this one because um, you see, I think it's something that we do in this part of the world the most because um, a lot of people spend millions in, of naira on a dead person. And when that person was alive, they probably lived in a, in a shack and it wasn't anything to write home about. Now, you didn't focus on getting them out of the slum. You didn't focus on making sure that their health was looked after. This even happened in my family. I can remember when my grandfather died, um, my uncle who has been out of the country for so long, never came home. But he died and he was there spending pounds. You get what I mean? Mm. Uh, yeah, you used to send money home, but don't you think that maybe your physical presence could have elongated his life a little bit longer? Because that would give him a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. And then, but you came home to spend a lot of money so you can actually come home. So you had to wait for him to die. Now, that's my family. I know a lot of other families that it is until when people die that they are celebrated. It, that shouldn't be the case. So. Well, I think I totally agree with you on this one. Mm, yeah, so I, I understand where um, Peter was coming from, and I agree with him. If Who's Peter? <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Is that his name? You let Oh, I was thinking Peter, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> That's father. <laughs> yeah. Okay. understand where it's coming from because <clears throat> a lot of people, like if I had said, rightly mm -hmm. said, they don't bother about how people are living their life until they are dead and then you want to come and show off with mm -hmm. their um, burial ceremony and all. But if you've been there for somebody, I mean like your parents and you've taken care of them and they lived a good life, if they die, come on, you have the right to celebrate them the way you want to. Mm -hmm. But if you, if, if you were there, if you were there for them and they died at the end of the day. You can celebrate. But if you're not there, you didn't take care of them and they died, you're celebrating them. Who are you trying to mock? You're mocking yourself, to be honest. And that's, I agree with everything he said. Mm, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a mindset that has grown with a lot of us. Something, mm. There are so many things we have to consciously unlearn. And this um, is probably one of those things. Because it's even said that when you need money, and you want money for various things, it might be very difficult for you to get it. But if it's burial, you're, in fact, you see people that are ready to give, give you, you for mm. free, like to say, just do this, we're supporting your burial. But how about support that person's business? No. Mm. The person has a, a wonderful initiative. No, you're not interested, but you're moved when someone is dead. So um, I think there, there are so many things we need to change and find a better balance. And like you said, if you have someone who have really lived and lived a good life, I, I don't think there's anything wrong in celebrating mm. them mm. if you have the means to, and I don't think you need to borrow to... Yeah, I was, so when you like said, I was going to say, you don't have you to know, borrow so money, ignore pressures and everything. Bury the person the small way you can, and mm -hmm. then even if you want to celebrate that person, when you're comfortable, you can mm -hmm. do it. I, I mean, a lot of people do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe when somebody dies and they don't have enough money to give the person a befitting barrier at yeah. that point, they can always move the date and you just... I, I really don't understand why you want to borrow money. 
Mm. But now they're talking about... Said, it's um, a thing of, um, what's it called now, preference. Because some people, like you said now, if they live the good life and your kids are good and they, are, they can afford it, do you understand? And they've been there for you while you were alive, then there's absolutely nothing wrong mm. with celebrating such a person's life. Spend millions, bury them in a gold casket, do whatever you want Go to need do. To. As long as you're <laughs> not that going out of your way. way. You yeah. understand? But the moment you start overstepping or you're living beyond your means mm. just to make sure that you have a befitting burial, sometimes I think we should start considering cremation. Okay, but um, looking at spending and probably, you know, you want to do something. So, for example, a mother, a mother died and she's probably, it is something, yes, and you know she's lived. She, she was being taken care of while she was alive. Mm. And you want to do something. Genuinely, sometimes, burial can actually be expensive sometimes. And mm. genuinely, some people don't have that savings. We still have issues when it comes to our financial attitude in this part of the world. Mm. I know I was listening to a foreign platform where I, I know that there is a burial insurance in South Africa. So... If you think that you want your burial to be in some certain type of way or you don't want the burden of burying you at all to be on anyone, you can actually open an insurance account to save towards that. So now that is you taking care of that part of your life, right? But there are so many people that if anybody dies, it's going to be like a huge spending on them, even mm -hmm. to buy the good casket. So mm -hmm. they have to actually borrow to make it happen. So it's... It's, there is no one rule for all this, but it's just nice to be, to balance it up so that you are not going in debt for someone who is dead. Like, <laughs> I don't know how that makes sense. Mm. But sometimes it's just inevitable, like it's highly inevitable because so many people live from hand to mouth, meaning what they're making is what they spend and they're okay with. So bringing out of that, after taking away school fees, housing and all that to the burial is a big deal so they actually have to source for funds so i understand it from all sides actually yeah i get yeah. what you're saying but that's why um like if i said live within your means i mm. mean if you don't do that big thing at that point nobody will come and arrest you to be mm. honest okay but now if you now go and borrow money and you don't pay back then somebody can arrest you so it's better you just live within your means when you're comfortable i really don't, like you said nobody makes these rules when you're comfortable you can celebrate life anytime you want to i mean people do remembrance and all of that so no I'm one pressure person that just... doesn't want to have a burial though i want cremation oh it's how your loved ones i want to stay fresh <laughs> so i don't want yes. to get rotten <laughs> to the I next <laughs> audio money singer paul Ukoye. Show shade at whoever the shoe fits, which is captioned on Instagram. He said, and I quote, I'm building three brand new mansions, two in heaven and one in hell. Please, who knows anyone who can supply cement in hell? Um, definitely, it's audio season, what a year, end of quote. So, I think he's trying to shade someone. That is no, what I feel like. No, not audio. Uh, I think it's just part of the song promotion, you know, because audio money is about uh, when you just leave the fake life for the gram and all of that and uh, he's just trying to let you know that look i'm building mansions i'm that rich that i can build a mansion in hell i can build a mansion i can build two in heaven if you want to supply cement but and he said it's audio season so i think it's still further promotion for his music that's the way i see it me mm. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest i don't understand what he was saying um, so i really don't have well for me i think he's still use yes his song was a there was a message in his song so it's not just mm. about promoting the song it's about promoting the message that the song um was passing and i think that's what he was still doing with this caption because i mean audio money a lot of people the, the slang is now a thing Mm. You know, when you do something, if someone says, I'm going to send you money, you ask, is it audio money? So we know if it's real or not. Mm. Now we're having audio endorsements. We're probably going to get to that audio. Like, meaning things that are not real, mm. right? So I think with this caption, he's just trying to say, we are getting, this is the embassy season. We know how we look at embassy season. For us here is... Um, September, October, November, December, right? So mm. when you enter that season, people do a lot to keep up with a certain kind of life, which mm. is mostly fake life. So I think that is what he's saying with this message, not just about promoting his song, it's about what he has seen, and he's saying this is the audio well, season. But you think he's so, um, trying to shade someone, yeah? There are so many in, the, in his industry that he can shade, so, yeah. When, when I read it, I really didn't understand, so mm. <laughs> I don't want to bother don't. myself. Okay, it's time for a quick break, but when we come back, we have just one story. We'll be right back. 
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is from mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. My wife is richer than all my enemies. This is coming from Nigerian celebrity barman, Kubana Chief Priest. According to Gist Making Rounds, the barman unfollowed Big Brother Niger winner, Messi E.K. Um, Messi E.K. <laughs> and removed all traces of her endorsement deals from his page after Messi failed to heed to the agreement to stay in Uwewe because she had another event. This made fans of uh, Messi through Kubana Chief Priest and the post about his wife being richer than his enemies has been interpreted to being a response to Messi's fans. Mm. So, Ewa. Mm? <laughs> Okay, yeah, like you said, a lot mm. of gist, like different version and different stories. Mm -hmm. Because I read one saying that um, it was because she has a new management now. And the mm. management, um, her management is telling him that if you want her to keep appearing in all your clubs, and all, you have to pay. Mm. And I think they said um, it's 1.5, you were supposed to pay 1.5 million or so. Mm -hmm. And it, was, it went on bragging about how he helped her in the house. I was one of those people that supported her to win. that Jeremiah just forgot. You know, mm -hmm. I was one of those people that supported her to win the Big Brother house. But management is like, business is business. She can't keep doing free. She's already a brand now. That's why I read. I mean, and I just feel like most of these celebrities, is it that they support people just so when they come out, you can control their life and use them? If, you're, if you love her and you're supporting her as your weary sister, just do it with her mind. Know that you want her to come out of the house and start being a yes, yes, yes boss to you. It, it can't work that way. Especially, she's not just on her own. She has other people that she's working with, that they have um, aim and objectives. And if she's working with other people, you have to respect that and respect what... The only thing she can do is that, okay, maybe, oh, Kubana is mine person i can give him a discount or something i mean other ways not that you just think you can call her any day anytime and you want her to say yes to you um so on this one i think um the issue all started with the whole moet and chandon um, endorsements which wasn't actually real because she didn't have that it was just a fiasco endorsement that she because she didn't really have that endorsement deal now it, with the actual brand it was with kubana and it was just you, you're doing this to promote um no his own club mm. yeah, and it's not even like it's his club it's his boss's club it was using that to promote his club and um i think she was in a worry and then she came with him and then they, that was when our team realized that they could not actually see um the bs from a mile away and they knew that oh so this guy is not he has been giving us fake endorsement deals fake this fake that you know dropping paying for hotel bills so but come on man this girl has to feed too you understand you can't just be putting me in a hotel making sure i'm good making sure i'm riding a Rolls royce making sure and then i'm not getting any money in my pocket now audio <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all your money. Mm. So and maybe they didn't want that anymore, and they started asking that. Okay, look for appearance because it was she was supposed to appear at this restaurant as well, mm. where he said she'll be doing a meet and greet, and she got endorsed by another. Um, what's it called? One of taxi these taxi mm -hmm. rides and all that. Mm. A few days before that, so she had to go attend to that. But it was like, no, you're supposed to wait for this. But if she's going to make more money from that, and she's been endorsed by that team, I think it's only right for you to understand. Yeah, it might have been sad that it clashed with what you had planned, but then pay for that. And I don't even think, no matter the money you're paying right now, because you didn't endorse her, it's not like she had any legal agreement with so you. So what was that uh, paper signing arrangement? It was all a fiasco. It wasn't no, I, yeah, I, I, I read that it was after she changed management, then the management brought, went through um, the papers. Yeah, mm -hmm. brought a lawyer to go through the paper. Even the company the denied it. The, the, the champagne brand denied that. So she did not read it. 
Does my say sound like? Sorry. <laughs> okay. See, things like this just, um, I, I don't know. You know they say when the celebrity thing just comes on you, like it just happens. Even when, actually, when you're not prepared for it, you're bound to mm. make so much mistake. I don't think anybody will bring any paper to you fair now and you will read it. Even if you decide to sign it, it's you that have decided, okay, I think and I can. We even call the company. You know, <laughs> but you I, you I don't, to give it, me number. aside having a lawyer, there are things that. It's just commonsensical. You mm. should know, right? And I just I just hope that they are able to settle this. I, I like the whole <coughs> sisterly and brotherly thing they were doing. Yeah. And I hope this also doesn't affect the relationship she has with um, the other, the people she is, I think she, well, I don't know if she bought the house or it's another fiasco of, you know, they're all the in this, five bedroom to play. you know, yeah. they're all in this team together and I really hope that they can settle mm. it because um, you cannot keep using her personality and her brand and think that because you voted her in the house mm. that she owes you, then maybe she owes everybody on this thing. Mm. Well, I didn't vote for her, let's just I didn't vote for her. <laughs> Okay, but um, I was going to say that I wouldn't want us to like reach a conclusion on this because it's just rumors going around. Yeah. Messi has not said anything. Kubana chief, chief priest has not said no, anything. No, Kubana. He said that. Yeah, he said, 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 yeah, said he's going. Um, he wants an uh, interview. Yeah, with Dotson. With Dotson. Dotson. Mm -hmm. So maybe after the interview. So let's see. Well, I'm not sure that interview is going to I'm sure that the will jump on this as well. Because mm. except that phrase, because I saw Dotson responded to that post saying that um, he's starting a new show. He's starting a new show. So I think. Probably the management of where he works are trying to um, mind the kind of things they are mm. always associated with. So it's not look like when there's a fight, it's always this platform that we go to to set, you know. Yeah. So I, that we don't that know what's going to happen. <laughs> Daddy Fizz don't mind. It will jump on No, it. Daddy Fizz already has a platform. You know Daddy Fizz and Dotto works in the same place, right? Mm. So Daddy Fizz already has a platform separate from yeah. that platform. No, no, that's so what we're, we're talking it. about Daddy Fizz yeah. platform right now. Like, yeah, that's, say, I'm would, sure it will jump on Well, we'll love to know this gist and drink tea over it. So we want to hear what to say. If he wants to talk, let him talk. In fact, come on tea time, come on spill tea. Yeah. We'll give you a spot for chips. I'm from Abia State, so we are not far. So maybe you want to come <laughs> talk to me. <laughs> so maybe you can come and talk to me. <laughs> All right. I think that's our wrap of this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. I remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors, Ewa Oluo Ritu and Ife Oluo Shokei. And of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be good.